Hey guys, right here I have a 2015 Toyota Aigo 1 liter expression. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. This iGo does have a 5-speed manual transmission. A rack and pinion electric power steering system is used by the second generation iGo. Standard on the expression trim is a leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. The 1 liter iGo is available with either a 5 speed manual transmission or an X shift automated manual transmission. To engage reverse for the manual transmission, push the gear lever all the way to the right and down. A reverse camera is standard on the expression trim. The base of the gear lever is wrapped in leather as well, while the gear knob does have a chrome insert. In terms of safety, the iGo gets 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, vehicle stability control, hill start assist control, a tyre pressure warning system, and mobiliser, and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. The bonnet release is located to the left of the front passenger's footwell. Fifteen inch, six double spoke silver alloy rims are present on the expression trim. The rims on this car are wrapped in Continental Conti Eco Contact 5 16560 R15 tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs in front and drums at the back. As for the suspension, McPherson struts and a torsion beam setup can be found front and rear respectively. Toyota has several different A-segment city cars on sale depending on the market and the continent. For the European market, Toyota sells the iGo in both 3 and 5 door hatchback body styles. The iGo is the product of a joint venture between Toyota Motor Corporation and PSA Peugeot Citroën. The latter's products are the Peugeot 107 and 108 and the Citroën C1. All three models are built at the Toyota Peugeot Citroën Automobile Check Manufacturing Plant in Colin, Czech Republic. The first generation iGo was available between 2005 and 2014, while the second generation model debuted at the 2014 Geneva Motor Show. This iGo is powered by a 1 litre, 12 overhead cams, 12 valves, naturally aspirated inline 3 petrol engine with VVTi technology and electronic fuel injection. This engine is codenamed 1KR-FE and it produces 68 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 95 newton meters of torque at 4300 rpm. With the manual transmission, 0 to 62 miles per hour or 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 14.2 seconds and the top speed is 99 miles per hour or 159 kilometers per hour. The fuel tank capacity is 35 litres and the combined fuel consumption for the iGo 1 litre manual is 68.9 miles per gallon or 4.1 litres per 100 kilometres. 
Carbon dioxide emissions is 95 grams per kilometer, and the Igo is a front wheel drive vehicle. You do have a speaker down there together with a bottle holder and some storage. Right here you do have your window controls, both the front windows are powered while the rear two windows open up as a vent. Right here you do have the button to turn off the vehicle's traction control system. Right here you do have your mirror controls. This lever allows you to adjust the level of the headlight. And pull this lever down here to release the fuel flap. The driver's seat in this iGo expression does get full manual adjustments. This lever controls your seat height. This bar down here controls your seat position. And that knob right there controls your seat back. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she revs.
The iGo expression does get very simple air conditioning controls with all of the controls located right here. You do have your fan, speed, temperature, air conditioning, rear defrost, different modes with your front defrost and down below you do have your recirculation or outside air switch. Right down here you do have your USB and auxiliary ports as well as a power outlet. And below it you do have some storage and a couple of cup holders. I must say the stock sound system available in the iGo does sound quite decent. We are currently in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu with your current song playing information. You do have the artist, title, album and your song duration. Down below, if we hit browse, you can select your different folders. If we hit the settings button, we can bring up your Bluetooth settings where you can pair a device, remove a device and bring up your system settings. You can also activate your shuffle and repeat, go back a song, go forward a song and play pause. To go back to the main menu, hit this button right here. If we select audio source, you can go to your different media options. You do have FM, AM, DAB, digital radio, USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth audio streaming. Under phone, we can dial a number, look at your contacts, look at your call history, look at your favorites, bring up your um, Bluetooth telephone settings, and read your text messages. Under setup, we can go to your general setup, audio setup, display setup, phone setup, and Bluetooth setup. You can also turn the display off right here. Under car information, you do have your various fuel consumption information, past records. You can update it and clear the data. And under connection, you can basically connect your device to the system. So your device will be... Um, mirrored onto the system itself. On the steering wheel, the right spoke houses your on-hook, off-hook buttons for the Bluetooth telephone system, while the left spoke houses your audio controls with your volume, your seat track buttons and your different mode selection button. Right down here, on the bottom right stalk, you do have your speed limiter controls. On the top right stalk, you do have your wiper controls. And on the left stalk, you do have your light and indicator controls. You do have a multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Use the two buttons right here to go through it. Right here, we do have your mileage, trip A, trip B, instant fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, range, average speed, and back to your mileage. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. And you do have a single rear cup holder right here. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, and you do have your interior lights right above. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
you do have your storage and bottle holder down below and as mentioned earlier on the rear windows in the iGo open up as a vent I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And my head is actually touching the roof, so not a lot of headroom in this car. But at least the seats are still nice and comfortable. No rear centre armrest for this one, nor are there any grip handles on the ceiling. To open up the glass rear hatch, go towards the rear of the car, locate this button, push it in, and then lift the rear hatch up. Headrests are the only ones that are adjustable. Down below you do have your speaker, bottle holder and storage and right there you do have your window control. The front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well. It just loses out on the height adjustment as found on the driver's side. Nicely sized glove box for this kind of car. Sun visor for the front passenger does get the vanity mirror as well.
Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2015 Toyota Igo 1 liter expression. Thanks for watching and goodbye.